say pairs out loud, whisper them three times each, connect them together in a rhythm, a rhyme, music, somehow say those pairs and connect them together. Write them down, diagram them, and I will share a couple other, we already talked about peer assisted learning, have the partner teach you, and then we'll talk a little more about index strategies and index card strategies and matching games next. But these are ways. Drill and practice, good old fashioned drill and practice is necessary. We kind of got away from it. At least I did my background in education. It's like, oh, you don't want to do drill and practice. We need to do more. Well, when we're asking kids you know, to remember information, we still have to have drill and practice activities. My favorite drill and practice activity is good old fashioned flashcards. It's one of my favorite, I should say. Good old fashioned flashcards with a twist. Now, if I'm teaching at the elementary level where I'm using phonics rules, what I would do is rather than have kids write those words three times each, which for doesn't work for a good amount of your students, have them print it on a flashcard. The brain remembers print because it makes a clear visual picture. And have them put the phonics rule that you're learning that week in a different color so that it stands out. So if I'm doing breakfast, snowflake, compound words, that's the rule for the week. Part of the word that's the compound word, one half of it is going to be in a different color. If I'm using the o OU rule this week, OU is going to be in a different color. Same with the A. So when I make my flashcards, I've got the phonics rule in a different color.